about ramping it up. So today, today's workout, I should be talking to them, not you. Today's, today's workout, this strength workout, I love it so much. We are showing you different ways to use your bench. So if you have the bench, I want you to go get those cables that were tucked underneath the bench and get them ready for use because we are using them today. Yeah, so there's a little lever. Open it up. <laughs> it's like a treasure know. chest. If you didn't know. Right? <laughs> right? Right under here. There's treasures in their parts. Yeah. Okay. Find a little chocolate egg. No. There's goodies in there. All right, but there should be some cables in a plastic bag. Unwrap it before you get started, if you haven't already. Yes. I'm excited. gonna need it. I'm so excited. What else do you need? Your sculpt bar, some dumbbells. We're doing a couple different things with dumbbells today. So if you have a lighter set and a heavier set, I want you to get both. If you don't have dumbbells, you can use plates or you can even use the pink thing, right? Uh -huh. You can use that as well. But anyways, I'm excited. And then I want you to stick around because after we have a finisher today, that's a total body blast. So it's a really great way to end your strength day by ramping up the heart rate. Which is a nice yes, change, right? It is. Yeah. And if we forget to mention it, um, the workout will be nice and slow and at ease, just like lots of strength happening. But in the finisher, body blast, so give it your all, okay? Just two sets, 40 seconds on, 20 seconds off as usual. But you can really ramp up the tempo. Yeah, we're gonna do this. We're yep. Do this. Okay, that's two of it. Talkie talkie. Time to walkie walkie. We're gonna get right into that warm up with our side to side lunges. Okay, so get nice and deep. The purpose of this is to sort of lubricate those joints. Okay, so you wanna make sure we're getting nice and deep. And maybe take those hands down to the ground. That was like perfect. Yes, I knew what you were gonna say. <laughs> and you might find that as time goes by, you can get a little bit deeper. Okay. Lots of cracks, work out the kicks. Right? And get that blood flowing to the right areas. And one. Come on up, we've got those air spots. Sitting back oh, nice no. and deep. <laughs> Why'd you say oh no? Sometimes I air squats in the morning. Oh! <sighs> no, I'm not gonna lie. I like did a workout yesterday that my boots and the top of my hammies are just screaming at me right now. My glutes are always screaming at me, I think. I think they're always on. <laughs> Light me up. Do you ever notice like when you're like standing, maybe not, when you're standing in the kitchen sink, oh, no, you're clenching your butt? Oh my gosh, all, all the time. Always on fire. Am I the only one who does this while you're doing dishes? No, I've done that before. I catch myself doing this, and then to correct it, I'll try to do something else. So this is a go-to for correcting the hip dip. Yeah, this one is not so bad. This one, not good. You just have to make sure you switch from side to side. Yeah. But you don't stay on one side the entire time. These are the okay. little things we talk about. It's important. Okay, come on down to the ground. We have a push up with the windmill. So, warming up the chest, elbows, getting our core nice and warm through so stability. That was the money maker in the business. Yes, that's right. No, well, you said that was the business. Draw them in with the money maker. Keep them with the business. Yeah. See, seal the deal with the business? <laughs> this conversation. Yeah. If you're just tuning in, watch previous episodes. You'll understand. So, are we going to tell them what the business is or just 
Yes. 
halfway through this set, our final set. This is Riddle, my daughter had from school. What has two legs with no feet, two oh. arms with no hands? What's the answer? Sweet. I'm not doing it. Oh, there's more. There's more. Um, something like doesn't have a face and is there a clock? What clock? I know, it's a grandfather's clock. It's, oh, oh there's four, four legs. <laughs> So it didn't make her, her gas was a snow angel, which I thought was genius. What was her gas? Snow angel. Oh. That is more right than the Okay, it is time for what we've been waiting for. We've got our benches, we've got these bands. We're gonna come on to our knees. I wanna see my okay? Kneeling nice and tall. I don't want them hiked through the hips, okay? So we're gonna take the arms out in front of us at shoulder height. Nice big exhale as we take it out to the side. So similar movement as before with the arms. I'm showing you guys how to do this. Rates. So there's just a little echo in the bottom there. So you're just going to loop it through there and make sure both sides are even. And then I'm going to catch up. Okay, so that frontal raise hits the anterior deltoid in front of the shoulders. And then for that lateral raise, we're only really getting to about shoulder height. And I want you to really resist as you lower it down that cable. So, tempo on the way up, tempo on the way down. Don't fly through it. Like Jesse said at the top of the workout, we want to make sure we're going nice and slow to keep the muscles under tension for longer. So why don't we lift for three, two, one, down for three, two, one, out to the side. Try not to hike through the traps. That was for me as much as it was for you. Exhale, lift, slowly lower.
still hibernation season. Oh my goodness, and then like getting her ponytail in was like... No, it's day three of school, right? It's so hard. The fatigue is starting to hit them. It's a new kind of tired. Keep those back ribs heavy on the bench. Oh! <sighs> Love it. All right. Yeah, but it was like, you slept for 12 hours. You laughed, mommy. You laughed me. You just done. I what? <laughs> She's just jealous. And when I went, into, I went in and I, I, I thought of this because I did the Rocky song. I was like, time to get up. Da, 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 da. Come on, Rocky. <laughs> she had the blanket up to here, like up to here, saying I want more sleep, but I got to giggle with the Rocky. Yeah. Oh, oh, you did? Did? She yeah. knew? Yeah. Well, it's, a, it's an awesome thing we do. That and Adam's family. Da, 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 da. Da, 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 da. I got a giggle and then she told me to get out of her room because she wanted a few more minutes. She's like, Mommy, not to be rude. I thought you were going to say she like threw a pillow at the door. Get out of here. No, she never. She would never. She's like, Mommy, I don't mean to be rude. She always prefaces it. But I need a couple more minutes. Can you go? Oh, this feels so good. One more, one more, one more. Ah! Oh! Okay. I felt so freaking dead. Okay, so we have a decline bench press. I'm gonna reach for my 10 pound dumbbells. You can go heavier if you want. And then there's a little switch at the top of your bench. I'm just gonna kick that under so we get a nice decline, okay? Again, straddle that bench. I want you to get your feet nice and flat on the ground. It's a common mistake a lot of people make. They tend to come onto their toes and arch their back. I don't want you to do that. Push through the feet. Lower down into your chest press, 90 degree angle, or more, getting a nice pull through the chest, and then we're taking it up. To add a little sauce onto this, sauce, as we take the arms up, let's pivot the wrist so we bring our pinky fingers towards each other. Bring them back, a nice pivot. Does that not feel good? Oh yeah, there we go. Inhale and exhale. I think I want to work through. <laughs> I'm addicted to chest. Okay, if you don't have dumbbells, you can always use the pink thing, those little loops that Jesse showed you at the bottom of the bench. Guess what? Pink thing fits in them. I'm working through. I'm doing it. Or you could just use those if you feel like there's enough pull. Inhale, big exhale. So, a couple things to check here. Shoulders are back. You want to firmly root shoulder blade to shoulder blade into the bench. Back ribs are pushing into the bench. There's a small curve, natural curve, in your lower back. I don't want you to push the lower lumbar in, but I want you to be mindful of keeping your back ribs heavy. And we're pushing through the feet. Watch those wrists. Try and keep it neutral. Fun. That was fun, and we're done. Okay, it's time for the body blast. 